Yeah, where? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, good. Which direction I have to see? Just in the middle. Just in the middle. Uh huh. You know something when you stay here, not in the middle here. So, can we start, Milan? Yeah. So you know that uh, this year it's a year of Rammstein. It was 11th meeting, but just one year ago in, in April in this airbase was the first meeting. And for me, it's very symbolic because during this year, we are really uh, feeling the real support of, I call it Klappstein, uh, Rammstein Club. It's more than 54 countries, members of these allies. It's more than NATO allies, probably twice. And I am really satisfied of this meeting also because we had a chance again uh, to deliver to our partners our main priorities, our needs. And again, the high priority is still remains air defense systems, air defense systems and air defense systems. All types from the very sophisticated like Patriot, Nessens, Iris T and Samp T till the uh, manpad like Stinger, Spurun, Igla, Strela or something else. And also second is ammunition. Ammunition, different types of different uh, calibers, 155, 152, 122, 120, etc., etc. And suddenly, our strengthening of our iron fist, I mean uh, tanks and arm, infantry fighting vehicles or armed personal carriers. As you know, that uh, probably three months ago, maybe less, in this place, in this base, uh, was the uh, meeting of Rammstein and uh, in my closing remarks, I told to the, uh, my colleagues that I heard how there in this room Leopard is roaring. And today I can say that I can see how Leopard is rolling. And you know that uh, Tank Coalition was born and we have very good coalition with the Leopard 2 and uh, uh, soon we will have Leopard 1 and the challengers in Ukraine. M extend from the France also in Ukraine, and we're waiting soon uh, Abrams from the United States also as well. So uh, certainly we discussed our readiness for the counteroffensive, which we have to do in this uh, period of time because it's our challenge to continue liberating our temporarily occupied territories. It's our main goal, and after that, when Russia will defeat it, we will starting our new stage of life of Ukraine as uh, I'm sure that we will become the member of different types of uh, security architecture including NATO allies also as well. It's shortly to you and I would like to add that uh, I can emphasize that um, we can see that a really strain of Russians uh, defense systems uh, the strain is very huge and we need just one push to ruin this uh, architecture of Russians so-called uh, second army in the world. But it's, it's not true right now. But you can see that we did before. We liberated Kiev district, Chernigiv, Sumy, Kharkiv, right bank of Dnipro River, Kherson, Snake Island, etc., etc. And we will continue. Thank you. You know that uh, during the Rammstein we discussing the main needs, main priorities. If we have chance to communicate on bilateral uh, platform, we can. Uh, do it with our partners directly and certainly we repeated our demands of the fighter just as a part of air defense systems and I'm sure that we will have modern NATO standard G++ uh, fourth generation plus plus uh, fighter jet as a part of air defense systems but right now 
the main uh, needs uh, we uh, we are talking about the um, land air interceptors uh, or grand landed uh, air defense systems and certainly we discussed uh, fighter jets as a next stage because we need to spend time for training courses for the pilots for the engineers mechanics and cetera and cetera and it will take time and i'm sure that it's the last point of my santa wish list and i think it will be done how about long range missiles uh, you know that we are talking not only about the long-range missiles, we're talking about long-range, or I call it uh, long-hand-range uh, capacity. It could be not only missiles, it could be, for example, different types of uh, um, ammunition or bombs, etc., etc., or drones, for example, UAVs, I mean suicide UAVs, so it's a different types. It's, it depends on the... Uh, capacity of, uh, of our partners because it's a different uh, inventions also and certainly we discuss it but I cannot to provide you the, the, the old details but I think it's it's an old process Sorry. yes please many countries say that they, they send and they will send tanks to Ukraine is that can make a difference that can finish this war or need more as Mark Milley always saying us, if you have war, you will not have enough. And uh, we need to make first stage in this year, I mean, counteroffensive with this capacity, what we have. With the uh, brigades, we are re there ready. But you know that uh, weather conditions is still not ready to, to meet us. And it will be on the decision of general staff when and where and how to do counteroffensive, but after that we will continue, you know, that uh, they occupied a lot of Ukrainian territories, so we need to finish this job, as uh, Winston Churchill said, give us the tools, we will finish the job. Now, always they say that the, the Ukraine pilots is not ready, they need more practice, they need more training. Is, the, is there any schedule for this training, that they will start tomorrow, after one week, or what? what? Uh, we're still discussing that what type of uh, aerial platform should be in, in Ukrainian armed forces, especially in air forces, and that will be the next decision which, which platform will be in the training courses. It could be F-16 or Gripen uh, or something else. So in this moment we continue discussing what kind of platform should be the best decision for the, for the Ukraine. As you know that we have tank coalition, but the main uh, main uh, part of this coalition is Leopard, Leopard 2, but after that would be Leopard 1, plus Challengers, plus Abrams, plus M and I'm extend. but the main is Leopard. So we have to decide with what kind of bird would be the main bird in our zoo. The last question, are you happy from what happened today, this meeting? Are you satisfied from the result? Yes, sure, certainly. I am satisfied because I heard very important words from my colleagues that they will stand with us, with the Ukraine, till the end of this war. And the meaning of the end of this war for them is victory of Ukraine. It's very important for me. So do you believe that NATO, do you believe the assurances of NATO that we will support uh, the Ukraine as long as necessary, even if it takes years and not months? Uh, yes, and I will try to explain you why. Because right now Ukraine providing the main reason of the main idea of the creation of the NATO countries. The NATO was created to defend themselves, to, to defeat Soviet Empire or Russian Empire. So right now Ukraine do it by ourselves using NATO standard weaponry with Soviet origin weaponry. So that's why we providing the main goal of NATO to reduce this offensive capacity of Russia Empire. Because if you remember the Madrid summit decision, the strategy for the, I mean, strategy of NATO allies for next 10 years, the main threat of NATO allies is Russia Federation. It means that right now Ukraine successfully deter them to defeat them and using the uh, NATO standard weaponry. So it means that we have a very good level of interoperability. That means that for NATO sake, that it's interesting for them using uh, the battlefield in Ukraine to reduce the threats from the Russia Federation. Okay? Yeah.
українською. А мені здається, що ми закріпили розвиток танкової коаліції, тому що проговорено сьогодні підписаний меморандум щодо разом з польськими партнерами і німецькими партнерами, паном Маріушем Блащиком, Борисом Пішторіусом, про те, що ми будемо мати проект по розвитку запчастин і обслуговування танків «Леопард», «Леопард-2» і «Леопард-1». Ми будемо їх мати достатньо. І крім того, ми говорили про боєприпаси для танків. Це дуже важливий паралель, ну, додатковий аспект. Крім того, сьогодні знов устами Лойда Остіна та Марка Міллі прозвучала на підтримку нашої позиції – що система протиповітряної оборони – це номер один задача для допомоги Україні від всіх систем. І це, це було почуто партнерами, і були навіть озвучені деякі пакети, які ми отримуємо найближчим часом. Друге – це готовність наших партнерів тривалий час працювати на перемогу України. А це означає підготовчі курси, тренінгові місії, запчастини – обслуговування і оновлення озброєння, і саме головне – замовлення у військово-промислового комплексу країн-партнерів амуніції, набоїв, снарядів, патронів і так, далі, і так далі. Це важливі речі, які дають нам з вами абсолютну впевненість в нашій перемозі. Чому? Тому що ця війна, яка, по суті, найбі... най... найстрашніша війна за 80 років на планеті Земля, повномасштабна, це війна ресурсів. І за нашою спиною стоять ресурси цивілізованого світу. І цивілізований світ чергове підтвердив, що вони готові бути з нами разом до, до, до нашої з вами перемоги. Окей. Yes. Uh, negotiation could be, and we will sit at the table with our partners on our side, and we will discuss uh, with the Russians reparation, restoration, compensation, and decision of the International Tribunal about the war crimes from the Kremlin Mafia gangs. Thank you very much. Slava Ukraini!